Hello, YouTube. Today we are at the Salvation Army. Looks like we're going through some blue clothes. I like blue. Blue is my favorite color. Here we have a... Uh, we, we are going at a speed of two times per hour. Two times the normal speed per hour. And we're still looking at the blue clothes. Nothing, nothing at all. Oh, we're going to the green. Now we're going to the green. Now we're though though there's still blue, blue. There was a green there in the middle. Now we're in the green. Oh, now we skipped. Oh, where are we now? Oh, we're in the green now. We're going to the green. We're going to the weird. We're going to the green. We're going to the brown. Still with the green here. Looks like we're approaching the uh, orange. Orange is such a hard color to combine anything with. It's just so bright and bold. Purple too, but uh, looks like we're going to the red now. Still nothing going on. All the popular colors are gone. Roy G. Biv. But uh, looks like we're running dry here at the Salvation Army in Patterson, New Jersey. Red, a lot of, oh, looks like we got, a, got ourselves a winner here. At least something to uh, barter with. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, St. Malo Vintage. Um, today I'm your host, V. If you don't know by now, we review a couple of our clothing items, which we've procured on our thrifting adventures and uh, that we hope that you will like and hopefully will put in your wardrobe someday. So without much uh, further ado, let's dive right into it first item up for grabs is a Sideshow Bob from The Simpsons uh, t-shirt. <laughs> Circa 1999, now I believe he made his debut on The Simpsons in 1990, voiced by, nothing on the back, voiced by Kelsey Grammer of uh, Frasier fame. Uh, yeah. A little bit of cracking, but that's to be expected as it is a vintage shirt. Again, vintage is allegedly defined as more than 20 years old. 1999, this at least was printed in. Um, let's see, it's on the Gildan tag. Extra large, made in... Honduras. I don't know why this needs to be said, but please, for the love of God, like, subscribe, and comment. Turn on post notifications. Um, yeah. Second item we have here is a vintage Woolrich uh, button-down flannel. Can't really make out where it's from or when it's from. Um, just can only make out the size, which is a uh, which is a large, but kind of matches what I'm wearing right now. But here, run of the mill, old school, vintage flannel. Feels like cotton. I wouldn't say it's with pure confidence that it's uh, wool or even like a wool blend. Um, so I would probably say it feels cottony and on the inside with like polyester lining. Um, all of the botones are intact and of the same um, size, color, and nature. And uh, Woolrich has always been one of our buddies in regards to reselling. Let's take a look at this. Uh, little sheep over here. Their logos have changed over the years. We'll try to put in a graphic where um, their graphics change during the years. To signify the date the, the item was made. But yeah, uh, Woolrich has always been we started this a little over a year and some change ago has always been a constant seller so 
you definitely appreciate Little Sheep and Little Woolrich. As that flannel was just in time for uh, fall and winter, so is this little doohickey here of a sweater by Par 4, medium in size. 55% um, Ramy or Ramy. Uh, I'm gonna have to see what Ramy is about. And 45% cotton assembled in Hong Kong. Here at Par 4. Golf knit sweater. Five cents for a stamp. Nothing on the back. But still clean and uh, it's pretty cool if you get a glimpse of as to what uh, golfers used to wear. Well, I guess they still wear that. Son of a bitch, Paul, why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Just vintage. Vintage golf. Vintage stamps. So on the topic of Raimi, please don't put a dunce cap on me because uh, I, I never heard of Raimi. Um, and it is pronounced Raimi. Um, allegedly, according to my research, Toru must do research. He must. It is a natural fabric coming from the old east, the far east, far eastern university, and a perfect, sustainable alternative to silk. Um, let's look at the um, common questions here. Is Raimi a cheap fabric? Mm. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It is not wide, widely used because it remains expensive. Looks like we got gold on our hands, boys. Um, due to labor costs during cultivation and production. Again, the cheaper alternatives remain as cotton and linen. Is Raimi good for clothes? Good question. Raimi fiber is lustrous, looks like silk, and sometimes mistaken for linen. I can see the linen part. Extremely absorbent, much more than cotton. It breathes well and makes comfortable clothing during warm and humid summers. Um, I probably wouldn't wear that during the summertime, especially if it's like 80s or 90s, 70s maybe. I mean, I guess. Eh. Um, is Raimi fabric itchy? If you're looking for a fabric that won't make you itch, Raimi is a great option, so it's not itchy. And uh, this is funny as uh, I just used Wikipedia and um, Google and other references as a resource. Uh, in a, as a segue to this shirt. <laughs> so this is the Microsoft Extreme shirt featuring you got your Microsoft Encarta. That's what kind of, you know, drew me to this shirt. Um, but I'll touch on that in a little bit. You got your Microsoft Windows XP Pocket PC. Um, yeah, and then what you got on the back, the Extreme Tour, Extreme Tour of October 20, 2001. I say that's a uh, segue to this shirt because Encarta was like uh, <laughs> the OG encyclopedia, um, the OG Britannica, um, encyclopedias that your parents had bought that are probably in the thrift stores or at Goodwill and that you no longer use because you have the handy dandy internet at your disposal. So I just thought it was a little funny that, you know, Encarta is in here because I do remember using that in, in uh, school. I might be giving away my age, but the uh, shirt is on the Fruit of the Loom tag extra large of 100% cotton, not Rami this time, or Rami this time, um, made in El Salvador. 
while on the topic of school, um, our next item up is a University of Wisconsin crew neck sweater. I believe it is on the jerseys tag, Super Sweats, large and made in the USA. Nothing on the back. Um, I do like to get our items as squeaky clean as possible, um, but sometimes you can't help it with vintage items. Um, I know there's a little bit of a stain on the right sleeve, the back right sleeve. And we do try to do our doo doo, our due diligence in putting whatever imperfections or um, stains or holes in the description. A couple of alumni you might know from University of Wisconsin are John Weir and Frank Lloyd Wright. You might know John Weir from Nature and Hiking, Weir Woods, and Frank Lloyd Wright from Architecture, Guggenheim, um, Falling Water. But if you don't, there's a third um, alumni from the University of Wisconsin that I found was pretty notable. Uh, who was Virgil Abloh, um, the creator of Off-White. Unfortunately, he um, passed away um, from his battle with cancer. I don't think we've reviewed or talked about any of our Levi's items here, but I wanted to make this one a little bit special, which I hope it is special because all these sites have it for like uh, $200 and above. I'll try to make it as fair as possible. Um, but we'll see, because you know, the, the uh, size might be in demand or um, just depends on the season. Now it is a short, shorts, a women's short. These, uh, these Levi's shorts are kind of rainbow colored. A um, couple of highlights, I guess, Levi collectors, or Levi sellers do is like to highlight the tag, orange tabs, because you know these are pretty special. These are pretty different. I've never seen these these around. Slim fit. We got the button here and the zipper. Standard one, two, three, four, five pocket design. Um, on the tag here, made in the USA, 912, slim fit, size nine. Now I did kind of learn how to read the care tags of Levi's from Loot Fam. Shout out to Loot Fam. Looks like this guy was born in 1997, January 1997. So it is a vintage shorts. We'll say it's uh, people who sell it say it's rare. I mean, I guess to some degree. I've never seen these around. It's in pretty good condition. I usually end my videos with discussing what I'm wearing right now, but you've seen this already and you've seen me naked. Um, so I'd like to end this video, uh, which I hope you enjoyed, um, with this shirt. Just your basic yellow vintage t-shirt and it says smile you found me so thank you for joining us today today I am uh, V and thank you for your time and uh, thank you for everything University of 